Over the last few years, I've built more than 60 jumps on some of my backyard RC tracks. And the whoop section behind me has got to be the most challenging set of jumps that I've ever built. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the whoops and I'm going to show you a cool little practice track that I put together to run on and practice these just a little bit better. Shut up and sit down. This is the first set of whoops that I've ever built. I'm a huge Supercross fan and we're kind of mid-season. Daytona Supercross was last night. Uh, so I thought a couple weeks ago I'd put in a set of whoops here on one of my tracks. And it's been super, super fun, but ultimately really, really challenging. And it's a real separator when you get multiple cars on the track and try to see who can get good lap times and make passes. It's really a equalizer and a game changer when it comes to running laps on my track. Now, in one of the last videos I put out, I gave you a bunch of different ways that you can practice. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll make sure to pin it at the end of this video as well as pin it in the top of the comments below. So make sure you watch this and then check that one out as well because there's a lot of great info in that one. But one of the things I talked about in that video was isolating a specific section and going out and practice it. So what I've done today is made a modified little practice track that I can run back and forth through this whoop section and really try to figure it out. Now, as you can see, as we put down some laps, the whoop section runs really different in both directions. You can kind of hop in from the side that's closest to us here on the driver's stand. The real challenge is in the direction the track actually goes, you really have to be smooth and not go in there too fast or too slow or the car either starts to crash if you go too fast or it just hops and bounces through there really uncoordinatedly and you lose a lot of time. So there's definitely a sweet spot of speed that allows you to kind of skim through there and set up that last little double to get up and out of that section. So if you guys are struggling with something on a particular track that you're running, isolate that section, run it by itself before you go up and try to run a bunch of laps. That's going to make your lap times better overall. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Like I told you, I'd pin that video about practice techniques and different things that you need to practice to be a better driver. Here it is. Uh, so make sure you go check that out, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.